Gaston Bacolod, published January the 9th, 2018. Jump to the end of this recording for further information about this audiobook. Gaston Bacolod, French, Bashlag. The 27th of June 1884 to 16 October 1962, was a French philosopher. He made contributions in the fields of poetics and the philosophy of science. To the latter he introduced the concepts of epistemological obstacle and epistemological break. Obstacle epistemologic and rupture epistemologic. He influenced many subsequent French philosophers, among them Michel Foucault, Louis Althusser, Dominique Lecourt and Jacques Derrida, as well as the sociologist Pierre Bourdieu. Part 1, Life and Work Bacolod was a postmaster in bas and then studied physics before finally becoming interested in philosophy. He was a professor at Dijon from 1930 to 1940 and then became the inaugural chair in history and philosophy of the sciences at the Sorbonne. In 1958 he became a member of the Royal Academy of Science, Letters and Fine Arts of Belgium. Part 1, Life and Work. Chapter 1, Bacolard's Psychology of Science. Bacolard's studies of the history and philosophy of science in such works as Le Nouvel Esprit Scientifique, The New Scientific Spirit, 1934, and La Formation de l'Esprit Scientifique, The Formation of the Scientific Mind, 1938 were based on his vision of historical epistemology as a kind of psychoanalysis of the scientific mind. In the English-speaking world, the connection Bacolod made between psychology and the history of science has been little understood. Bacolod demonstrated how the progress of science could be blocked by certain types of mental patterns, creating the concept of obstacle epistemologique. Epistemological obstacle. One task of epistemology is to make clear the mental patterns at use in science, in order to help scientists overcome the obstacles to knowledge. Part 1, Life and Work. Chapter 2, Epistemological Breaks, The Discontinuity of Scientific Progress. Bacolod was critical of Auguste Comte's positivism, which considered science as a continual progress. To Bacolod, scientific development such as Einstein's theory of relativity demonstrated the discontinuous nature of the history of sciences. Thus models that framed scientific development as continuous, such as that of Comte and Emil Meyerson, seemed simplistic and erroneous to Bacolod. Through his concept of epistemological break, Bacolod underlined the discontinuity at work in the history of sciences. However the term epistemological break itself is almost never used by Bacolod, but became famous through Louis Althusser. He showed that new theories integrated old theories in new paradigms, changing the sense of concepts. For instance, the concept of mass, used by Newton and Einstein in two different senses. Thus, non-Euclidean geometry did not contradict Euclidean geometry, but integrated it into a larger framework. Part 1, Life and Work. Chapter 3, The Role of Epistemology in Science. Bacolod was a rationalist in the Cartesian sense, although he recommended his non-Cartesian epistemology as a replacement for the more standard Cartesian epistemology. He compared scientific knowledge to ordinary knowledge in the way we deal with it, and saw error as only illusion, scientifically, one thinks truth as the historical rectification of a persistent error, and experiments as correctives for an initial, common illusion. Illusion Premier The role of epistemology is to show the history of the scientific production of concepts. Those concepts are not just theoretical propositions, they are simultaneously abstract and concrete, pervading technical and pedagogical activity. This explains why the electric bulb is an object of scientific thought. An example of an abstract concrete object. 
to understand the way it works, one has to take the detour of scientific knowledge. Epistemology is thus not a general philosophy that aims at justifying scientific reasoning. Instead it produces regional histories of science. Part 1, Life and Work. Chapter 4, Shifts in Scientific Perspective. Bacallard saw how seemingly irrational theories often simply represented a drastic shift in scientific perspective. For instance, he claimed that the theory of probabilities was just another way of complexifying reality through a deepening of rationality. Even though critics like Lord Kelvin found this theory irrational. One of his main theses in The New Scientific Mind was that modern sciences had replaced the classical ontology of the substance with an ontology of relations, which could be assimilated to something like a process philosophy. For instance, the physical concepts of matter and race correspond, according to him, to the metaphysical concepts of the thing and of movement, but whereas classical philosophy considered both as distinct, and the thing is ontologically real, modern science cannot distinguish matter from race. It is thus impossible to examine an immobile thing, which was precisely the condition for knowledge according to classical theory of knowledge. Becoming being impossible to be known, in accordance with Aristotle and Plato's theories of knowledge. In non-Cartesian epistemology, there is no simple substance, as in Cartesianism but only complex objects built by theories and experiments, and continuously improved. 6. 4. Intuition is therefore not primitive, but built. 6. 2. These themes led back are led to support a sort of constructivist epistemology. Part 1. Life and Work. Chapter 5. Other Academic Interests. In addition to epistemology, Bacallard's work deals with many other topics, including poetry, dreams, psychoanalysis, and the imagination. The Psychoanalysis of Fire, 1938, and The Poetics of Space, 1958, are among the most popular of his works, and the latter had a wide reception in architectural theory circles. Jean-Paul Sartre cites the former and Bacolards, Water and Dreams, in his Being and Nothingness. Special characters in this article were substituted with audio cues. They were denoted as follows. And. Left and right parentheses. Three consecutive periods. This recording is a derivative work from Wikipedia. For more information, to commission recordings like this, and to support the developer, please visit www.patreon.com slash frogcast.